I will now show you the troubleshooting procedure for the trigger assembly. This procedure can be carried out with the stunner fully assembled or as part of your annual maintenance with the nose piece removed as we have shown here. The first step is to have your basic tool kit ready. This comprises of a flat blade screwdriver, a pin punch, a ball paint hammer, and a pair of nettle nose pliers. And remember to always keep your O-ring lube handy. Firstly remove the trigger. By using the nail nose pliers and the flat blade screwdriver. Then we need to inspect the trigger. We have a roll pin inside. We check and see whether it is bent or damaged or dislodged. This will affect the effectiveness of the trigger so it can be replaced as needed. Now using the pin punch and the hammer, we need to remove the little roll pins to allow us to remove the trigger valve itself. These roll pins do not have to be removed totally. We can leave them still protruding out the bottom. Then by using the flat blade screwdriver, just very carefully get underneath the edge of the valve Carefully working the valve out. You may damage it slightly, but um, what we're looking for is any debris or material around the seat or any damage or worn parts on these parts here. Also, we're checking the spring to make sure it is not broken or compressed. And you're going to replace all of these items as well. And there is also a little O-ring checking it to see if it is damaged by simply bringing it up and rolling it off. And if it's okay, it can be reused in the new valve. It's just a matter of then putting on the valve on the new spare part. And then it's a matter of just rolling it on. Small amount of our O-ring lubrication on it just to allow for ease of assembly. Place this, the valve back in. The spring on the end of the valve as so. And insert them very carefully back into their hole. So that it is seated correctly. It's a matter of then Tapping back in the roll pins from the opposite side, putting the pin the roll pins back into position. Just so that they are flush. Then it's a matter of putting this trigger back together, returning the trigger into its position. Put the trigger pin in all the way through using the needle nose pliers to insert the lock nut. Just firming up the little lock nut on the shaft so that you still have free play on the trigger. And this is how we perform the maintenance on the trigger device.